What's up, YouTube? It's that time again. Talking Wrestle TV in with the SmackDown Live review. And guys, I was very pleased with SmackDown Live tonight. I really was, guys. It's a pretty good show. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. We open up SmackDown Live with Kofi Kingston coming out, cutting a promo, pretty much still celebrating from his big victory at WrestleMania. And then we had Kevin Owens come out and was attacked by Xavier Woods before Kevin Owens kicked the hell out of him and ran away. <laughs> but guys, I'm loving everything WWE is doing storyline-wise with Kofi Kingston and Kevin Owens leading into Money in the Bank. Like I said, we started the show and we ended the show with them. The main event tonight, I guess you could say, was the tag team match between Mustafa Ali and Finn Balor defeating Randy Orton and Andrade. Guys, I really don't understand how all four of those men are just put into the Money in the Bank ladder match. I thought we was going to see Andrade and Finn Balor for the Intercontinental title at Money in the Bank. But I guess that's for another day. But I can't tell you what. You can forget about any one of them guys from SmackDown winning Money in the Bank. Because I told you last night and I'm telling you again right now. Barry Corbin is winning Money in the Bank. Also, we had Baker Lynch go one-on-one -on -one with Baylor. And a good TV match. Baker Lynch made a tap out and then comes Charlotte Fly. Beating the hell out of both of them. Setting up their match at Money in the Bank for the SmackDown Women's title. I think Baker Lynch's time is up, guys. Becky two belts, this man crap is about to be over with. Charlotte Flair is about to retake our throne at Money in the Bank. Also, we had the Hardys come out talking about they had to relinquish the tag team titles because of what Lars Sullivan done to him. And then here comes Lars Sullivan. To only to be attacked by R2, guys. And then you see what happened. R2 is here on SmackDown Live. I know Roman Reigns talk about it's his yard. But Lars Sullivan is here to take over the yard on SmackDown Live. Speaking of Roman Reigns, guys. I know you heard the boos. That was loud and clear tonight. And they're going to continue to be that way. He was put in a match against the B-Team. B-Team, B-Team, no more, no more. We haven't seen B-Team in I don't know how many weeks. And I hope after tonight we don't have to see him ever again. That's a horrible team, guys. But nevertheless, they were put in a handicap match against Roman Reigns and made Elias the special enforcer. You, know, you knew that Roman Reigns was not going to lose to those guys. And he didn't. He checked them. But I will tell you this, guys. Roman Reigns, all this leukemia stuff is over and done with. It's back to business. And that means your ass is going to be getting booed week in and week out. There's nothing WWE can do then, now, or forever from keeping you from getting booed. Because the booze are about to start back piling in at an all-time high, guys. Don't nobody want to see Roman Reigns. I'm just going to be honest. I know he just went through what he went through. I'm glad he overcame that. But it's back to business. And business is business. Nobody wants to see Roman Reigns. But guys, I just want to come in, get my quick thoughts on the SmackDown Live. I'll give it a 5 out of a 10. Pretty good show in my view. I will say. Let's just see what happens. I just hope WWE keeps the bill for Money in Bank like they're doing. Keep it up. They're doing a pretty good job over on SmackDown. I don't know what to say about Monday Night Raw, but SmackDown is doing a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, also we had the Shit Fly Shit House show with Bray Wyatt. The same crap from last night. I don't understand. If you're going to keep trying to push this, give us a new episode each night. Don't nobody want to see a rerun from last night or this crap. 
I wish they'll just go away with it because it's straight up trash anyway, guys. But again, I'm trying not to bash SmackDown tonight because I think it was a good show. And again, I just want to come in and get my thoughts. So leave a like, comment, subscribe. It's Talking Wrestling TV. I'm out.